Revenge porn victim devotes life fighting to change nation's laws vertical line Fox News Fox News Digital Network Fox News Fox Business You report Fox News Radio Fox News Latino Fox Nation Fox News Insider Login Account You're logged in as profile Log out Search site Listen to Fox News Radio live On air now on air personalities home video politics u.s opinion entertainment tech science health travel lifestyle world sports on air previous slide next slide u.s home crime terrorism economy immigration disasters military education environment Scandals, regions, smarter America. Revenge porn victim devotes life fighting to change nation's laws. By Christina Corbin, published September 12, 2013, FoxNews.com. Holly Jacobs, 30, is fighting to change the nation's laws after private nude images of herself were posted on so called revenge porn websites, allegedly by her ex boyfriend, without her consent or knowledge. Um, A. Williams, Holly Jacobs. 30, is fighting to change the nation's laws after private nude images of herself were posted on so-called revenge porn websites, allegedly by her ex-boyfriend, without her consent or knowledge. Um, A. Williams. Next slide Previous slide. When Holly Jacobs sent nude photographs of herself to a long-distance boyfriend she loved and trusted, the 22-year-old woman never imagined the horror that would befall her. In August 2009. Less than a year after the pair mutually ended their three-year relationship, Jacobs did a Google search of her name and discovered the naked photos on a so-called revenge porn website. I just went completely into shock, said Jacobs, who hired a lawyer and eventually changed her birth name from Holly Thomas to Holly Jacobs. This is cyber rape, Jacobs, now 30, told FoxNews.com. It's all about the guy having control over the woman and exploiting her in the sexual way the same way real life rape is that it violates you over and over again what came next was perhaps more shocking to Jacobs police in Miami where she lived at the time took no action they told her that because you are over 18 and you consented technically they are his property and he can do whatever he wants with them she recalled Jacobs the 2005 graduate of Boston College who managed to earn a PhD during her ordeal channeled her pain into advocacy for women similarly victimized by ex-boyfriends, who, without their knowledge or consent, posted photos meant to be private in the most public and humiliating way. Jacobs created a website and revenge porn and formed the group Cyber Civil Rights Initiative CCRI under which she serves as CEO and Executive Director. With the advancement of technology, millions of people, mostly teens and young adults, turned to sexting pornographic or inappropriate photos to their boyfriends or girlfriends, with little or no foresight into what may one day become of them. At this time, 49 states do little or nothing to stop malicious individuals from endangering lives and reputations by distributing sexually graphic pictures of people without their consent, said Mary Ann Franks, a professor at University of Miami School of Law. Both state and federal criminal laws are needed to prevent and address this form of sexual abuse. For Jacobs, the initial discovery of nude photos on a website called Amihot or not nude.com was only the beginning of her nightmare. The young woman hired a lawyer, who wrote a letter to Jacobs' ex-boyfriend, Tamperevident Ryan C., to just kind of scare him. The photos immediately came down, Jacobs said. In November 2011, Jacobs began dating someone new, and posted a picture of the two on her Facebook page. Hours later, she was bombarded by emails from strangers saying, There are pictures of you all over revenge porn websites. My material went viral within three days. It was on over 200 websites, with my full name, my email address, the school I attended, and a link to where I worked, said Jacobs, who at the time was a teaching assistant at Florida International University. And then a chilling email arrived in her inbox from a fake Yahoo email address that was created using her name. The writer told her to get in touch concerning your photos and warned her that a nice video was awaiting distribution, she recalled. Have your boss and co-workers seen it?